New at 10, a battle playing out in San Francisco between tennis players and pickleball players. At issue, whether new courts at Stern Grove there in the sunset should accommodate one sport or possibly both. KTVU's Amber Lee with us here in studio. And Amber, the city plans have kind of stirred strong emotions on both sides of that net there. Absolutely. Tonight's community meeting was standing room only. Rec and Park officials tell me both tennis and pickleball are hugely popular. Now the battle is over whether Stern Grove should remain a shared space. Pickleball players are passionate and eager to talk about this fast-growing sport. I kind of view pickleball as life-size ping-pong. At Golden Gate Park's Tennis Center, there are dedicated pickleball courts, but fans of the new sport say they need more. Especially on the weekends, the cues and wait to play can last anywhere from 30 minutes to almost an hour. Pickleball players want Stern Grove, which is undergoing repairs to be home to eight new courts dedicated solely to their sport. Last year, a water main break caused flooding, damaging tennis courts there that were shared space with pickleball. Tennis players are pushing back. We want to make sure there are tennis courts for everybody who wants to play tennis. She says tennis too has grown in popularity during COVID. Reckon Park says there are currently 139 tennis courts citywide, and pickleball has 59, with only 11 courts dedicated solely to the sport. The water park system saw an enormous uptick of just interest in using our parks. Hundreds packed into a community meeting Thursday night to give input to Reckon Park about four options for what type of courts will go into Stern Grove. Only one option includes tennis. We would rather find another solution than taking tennis courts away from tennis players. Until pickleball, I've never seen a more diverse, socially, racially, age, economically diverse community ever. One nonprofit group says it donated $108,000 to resurface the tennis courts at Stern Grove prior to the flooding. We don't support those courts being converted to permanent pickleball courts. We'd like to see them reopen as tennis courts with pickleball striping. The Rec and Park Commission will ultimately decide whether Stern Grove will be a place dedicated to pickleball only. No word yet on when a decision will be made, but I'm told it will be soon because a lot of work has already been done on this matter. Mike. Yeah, and we've not only seen controversies like this in um, San Francisco, but also in Walnut Creek, in Danville. It's kind of a thing lately. I heard it's all across the country. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. Amber, who knew? Thank you. Yeah. Amber, thank you. An update now on that car.